The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. No, bro. You can't take a picture. Bro. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Wow, what a fucking douche. And on that note, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the second part of Chrysalis, part one, episode one, or not part one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I've been smoking and drinking all day. So I'm kind of out of it right now. <laughs> Welcome to part two. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Nothing wrong with that. I'm wasted right now myself. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Big football. Back away. Oh, hey, yo, Kate. What's good, baby girl? Glad to see our campus is eco friendly. For real. There's Kate. Looking sadder than usual. She looks sad. Hi, Kate. What's hey, up? Hey, Max. You look really upset. You okay? You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. I understand that anything? completely. You good? Max, I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. I'm sorry. I understand that. I'll leave you alone. Leave her alone. Awesome. She wants to be alone. I get that. I understand that completely. I think I could have sworn that from a different perspective you could get a photo from her. I thought. Maybe I'm wrong though. Sweet. I could have sworn. I mean, I'm wrong. Whatever. Let's talk to the janitor. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X Files weird. Hey man, the X Files was really weird. You all remember that inbred episode when you know the sons, you know, had sex with the mother and all that. Oh well, well let's. Hey Samuel. Hey Samuel. Well, hello there. You look busy. You look busy, Samuel. Well, I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. What happened? What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. Did you know Rachel? You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Yeah. True. Do you know what was she, well, I mean, what was she like, man? What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. I like him. <laughs> I don't know, but that's just me, though. Let's see here. I could have sworn that. Wait, was it the. My dumbass. Ugh. This is going to be too damn cute. At least it's on a cat picture. Hey, what's wrong with the cat picture? But I'll add squirrels, so take a photo. That's mean, though. There you go. Cute squirrel. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. What else can we look at? Go in. All right. Is she reading a book? I mean, I don't like books, but let's talk to her anyway. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Why? Oh. Hi, Max. No. What you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. Ugh. It's a bestseller. It What's sounds like a rom. Good point. It's like a romance well, novel. Excuse me. No, I mean, not rom-com, but it's just not like one of those, like, you know, the Fifty Shades of Grey type novels. I've never read any of those novels, I, so don't judge me, but I'm not really into those kind of books. But I don't know. If she wants to read a book like that, leave her alone. Alright, let's get the hell 
out of here, I guess. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Eco-friendly, my ass. They just want to do what they think. That's all. With all these new droughts, it seems kind of obscene to waste all this water. Everyone complains about that. I mean, it's a sprinkler system. It's a hose. It's gonna happen, no matter what. I'll hear the squad. The squad right here. Oh shit! There's Victoria and her mean girls. Uh huh. Which, if y'all saw that movie, I mean. I've never really seen that movie from start to finish, but I've heard about it a lot, and I don't know. Uh, people said that in high school I kind of had like a my own little Mean Girl Squad, but it's like whatever. <laughs> oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. <laughs> what a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Oh, you call him Mark? You don't like that? The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> wow. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. I mean, what's the stop me from beating the fuck out of all three of you? So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? What a cold oh, yes, bitch. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. What a cold... Damn, like what brought that on? What the fuck did I do to you? God damn. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I mean, yeah, I, I wanna... just want to get Victoria the hell Just take the, the ladder. Oh, here, I got you. Take the ladder and bust it over these fucking you bitches. you understand English? Get lost. Don't the biblioteca. That means where's the library in Spanish, puta. No. Well, fuck you bitches up. What the ah. hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look. Great. You can spend five on grand a on a camera. I think you can afford a, a new thing. And I think I kind of fucked that up. I see what I have to do. I was a little late on that. All good. It's all good. It's all good. I was a bit late on that one. Here I was picking commentary, but I should have been... Whatever. y'all. I fucked that up real quick. Gotta go all the way back to the beginning. It was good, Samuel. My bad. I'm just going to go over here and chill over here real quick. There we go. See if this works. Says so how it works that. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. No. Nope. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Damn straight. Don't mess with Max, Ooh. bitches. <laughs> Damn. That sucks. Oh man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. <laughs> yeah, she kind of does. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? If y'all watched my Walking Dead and Batman videos, you know how I would be, but I don't know. 
I mean, I could continue the the drama, or I could just try to be nice. Let's see what happens, shall we? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Wow. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. It was funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll see you later. Au revoir. That means goodbye in French, for those of you who are slow. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Uh, what's that gonna do? Nothing. Let's just move out of here. Let's move on. I could have made fun of her and be like, oh, uh, you know, whatever, but uh, that's not. Nah, whatever. Not my nature. Hurry, Courtney! <laughs> Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> yeah, that's right. HIV and AIDS. Huh, that's funny. To the bitch that saw my French, you no face creme. Bits of shit and eat it in my acne. Ugh. Ugh, that's disgusting, man. Oh, that's just Go gross. Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Speak out against. I mean, I signed the petition. That's all I gotta do. That's all I did. That's all I gotta do. Welcome to Black Hill. <laughs> Black Hill, yeah, for real. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. <laughs> when you're in high school, or when you're in like you know any kind of school, any kind of dormitory or campus feels insane. A slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. For real. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. That's the Shining reference. Like, if you people who are uncivilized and uncultured probably don't realize this, but that's a, a Shining reference from a Stephen King novel. 217 was the room in the Overlook Hotel where Danny Torrance had a vision and he, an encounter with a ghost that killed herself. Hmm. God, I love that reference. It's like, oh, I love the reference because I love horror films. I love everything horror related. <laughs> As if. No boys allowed? Yeah, no boys. Juliet, extreme reporter. Read this reedition of the Blackwell. What is that? The Blackwell total? Sincerely, who cares? Wait, what? I don't know. What that says? Stop the folks. Thing is still a cheerleader at heart. <laughs> this girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. For real. What's this? I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. <laughs> Guns, huh? Man, people here are merciless. <laughs> Be quiet in the halls after 10 p.m. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what Kate did, but did something to get people talking. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. <laughs> wow, I, I mean, I like it personally, but she over here critiquing it like she a fucking um, photographer critic. <laughs> At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> yeah. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. 
Ghosts everywhere. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Be aware. Let a friend know. Report any incident. That's Could smart. Be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Geek girls. Authors. I don't know any of those names. <laughs> No boy, period. I mean, fuck, man. That's so fucking sexist. Why not any boys? I mean, damn. Whatever, man. Oh, wait, hold on. There's more. Could be. Thanks for the warning. Wait, oh, okay. Well, I don't care about that. There's the bathroom. Apparently, it can't go in there because it's being cleaned. I mean, not the bathroom, the showers. They live. <laughs> don't be a zombie. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, this is just mean and well, stupid. Well, bane for Jesus. Ugh. That's probably Kate's thing. Whatever. Get rid of that shit. Peace and love. Come on. The universal symbol for please leave me alone, asshole. Peace and love. Come on. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Lost phone. Statistics tutor wanted, and I hate stats. Is this math or philosophy for the? <laughs> I love that. Is this math or philosophy with graphs? Because I mean, I never took a stat class, but I hated math in general. I was always in the, in, in the um the dumb kids class uh class math class because I was like, what? I don't care. I don't understand this crap. Meat is still murder. Man, ugh. If you are a vegan, I'm sorry, but fuck you. Like, if you're a vegan, don't be a, subscri a subscriber to me. Don't subscribe to me, please. <laughs> Hold on, what does this even say? Veggie potluck? I mean, I've... Uh, no. I don't fuck that. No. Girls night out? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Be the change you wish to see from Gandhi? Oh, please. That bitch would never, ever quote Gandhi. She got that off a fucking article, probably. Oh, inspiring quotes to fucking, you know, uplift to everyone. Bitch, please. God. She's so shallow. Yeah, whatever, man. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? This is your planet, and when it comes to protecting the environment, you're the boss. It's up to us to make a choice, so come raise our voice, save the Earth. I don't know about that. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Three over what? God, that's pi. That's the first three numbers in pi, the longest number of in the world. 31415, that's all I know. 3.1415, that's all I know of pi. That's all I know. I'm not that smart. I'm sorry. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Well, fuck that. Put something, at least something. Put something in there, at least. Come on. Obvious, but true. Yeah. Kind of plain, but a good girl. I like her. She's a plain girl. Nothing too... You know, extravagant home about her, home. but I like My her. Favorite cocoon. Love that. First things first. Let's let, let's 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 turn on some music. Come on. There we go. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I'm testing here. Music inspires me in my photography. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student, and the, is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he was worried you're telling stories. Call me as a as ASAP so we can talk about this, Ma. I, it wasn't... Oh, wow. That's fucking bullshit. I'm not, I'm not even going to respond to that. <laughs> Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton... The greatest. I know Cartier Brisson. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. <laughs> that was a good hockey game and a great fight. 
Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont troll. <laughs> Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. <laughs> She knows her, um, she knows her people. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. For real. Daniel has so much talent. Wow. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Why would you hate on that? Look at that photo. That is impressive. That is very impressive. Quick sketch of my new muse. Oh, that's cute. Thanks, Daniel. I like that. I mean, personally, I like it. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Your one-step web story source for almost every camera that's ever produced, domestic or international. Wow, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I'm comfortable with my own camera phone. That's all I need to use. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Last note, now she never stop saying you bet she's a gratitude. Classic collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash job if you ever want to check them out. It's a game for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Yeah, they're okay. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. <laughs> I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. That's actually a famous book, I believe. Never read it, though. Get back on, come on. Get, I'll, I'll, I'll let the ambiance. Or ambiance, whatever Instant you want to call it. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. For real. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I remember analog, but I prefer digital. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. <laughs> I like my wardrobe. Hey, do you, girl? Do I you? love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. <laughs> she sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Eh, uh, they get more, uh, they get less and less important as I you get older. I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Well, she has supporting parents. They sent her to, um, to the school. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? <laughs> it's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Go Thunderbirds. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Uh, so what are you right now? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I got you, Lisa. Which... I like this because... There's a reference to it in another game that I play by this group. Because this was the first game that they did before a certain other game. Which... It's just, oh. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiots. She talks about this in her diary, which I didn't want to read about that because, well, I, I didn't want to read that on camera because I don't want to be boring for you guys. She pretty much used to live here, she moved away, and her only friend that she had, she hasn't talked to yet. That was her. Chloe, the girl, in, the girl in the pirate hat. She hasn't hit her up yet. So it's like, you know, you, you move away, you know, you, and then come back, so it's like, oh, I'm back now, so, and all that. But while you're doing that, let's head up the guitar real quick, while I take some care of some stuff.
Okay, and we're back. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to take a quick snack break. I apologize. <clears throat> so cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. <laughs> when okay, I swallowed bear. your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. That's a cute anecdote, honestly. That's a fucking adorable anecdote. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I love that, honestly. Turn it off. No, keep it on. Keep it on. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Yeah, for real. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. Same in a contents of this flash drive are of a graphic life altering controversial nature. <laughs> Carnival Holocaust and Ultra Ugh Vixens? Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. That's a little out there, but whatever. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, let's see here. Is there anything else I can look at here? Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat oh, yeah. box of All chocolate right, coconut those. bites for my birthday. And slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. For real. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. X O X O D. Oh Dana. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Damn it, Dana. I mean, at least let me know. Fuck. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Damn. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. For real. So stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? You good, Juliet? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What'd she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did Damn. you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking Ouch. to you now. What's my last name? Watson. Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Hmm. Huh. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Just add Gucci to that list. Those boots are made for walking runways. <sighs> that is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Fuck that movie. That was not a Final Fantasy movie. That movie was terrible. I don't care. No. No, no, no. Like, ugh. That movie was terrible. It was not nothing to do with Final Fantasy. It had, it was just, if it was named anything else oh, besides man, Final Fantasy. So oh, my God. I better find food fast. That was, oh man, that just pissed me off. That movie was terrible. It was terrible. Do not watch the movie. Fuck that movie. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Croft? Huh. Laura Croft? Nah, probably not. No, nah, so she spells her name with a C. That's that's a cray. Not compatible with their mission statement. Wow. She got rejected. <laughs> Dumb bitch. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Wow. I hate you, Victoria. Yeah, I hate this bitch. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. 
Color me impressed. Oh, three. Wow. <laughs> they should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. It fits. <laughs> no, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. For real. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. 3... 3... 3K? What the fuck? That is a good piece of tech. <laughs> it's like you want to be her friend just because just to play with her toys. <laughs> yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Nah. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. It'd look nice. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Jesus. Of course she would be. International photographer. Being hip cafe. <laughs> Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Damn. Maybe she has something to do with it. I mean, that's pretty... <laughs> It's pretty, uh, out there, right? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. A, a cult? Yeah, a, a, a club or a cult, pretty much. Computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans, and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten, and now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. Originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences, and how ironic then that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Yeah, I can see both those sides. Or it's just, just the MVF, one of Blackwell's most successful organizations. Tried to interview Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to sell the story for publication. Oh, well, there you go. There's probably some truth to those rumors. There has to be. Let's see here. Speaking of selfies, <laughs> let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Indeed, a pattern is emerging, which is a perfect photo op. Awesome. However, I kind of don't want to leave that around, so I have the photo, but I'm just gonna. It's like it never happened. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Huh, it's pretty. I had 57 friends, Jesus Christ. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. So it says to inform me that I totally punched Juliet and Dana just now. All I have to do is mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Juliet Dana on Jack's phone. Dumbass, believe me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Wow. What a bitch. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Oh, it will. Let's get the fuck out of here. Juliet, read this. Yeah, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. For real. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. 
dramatic, I guess. Yeah. I don't know about that. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. But I will. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. <laughs> Looks like she was uh, uh, talking to uh, Trevor. Oh, that sucks. She would let them on red. <laughs> wow. Whoa. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Shit. She pregnant? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not uh, helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. My bad. Ooh, that's... Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah, let's not do that. But hey, at least now I know. Let's just be cool about that. Be cool with that. This is both sad and pathetic. I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I had like a tough job around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know. XO Logan. Wow. It doesn't take much to piece together what it happened there. It would be a there. cool sticker without the words. Can't see the words, but... Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Oh, she got pregnant. Uh-oh. That's not good. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I heard a rumor about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? You're pregnant. You're pregnant. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have... Yeah, me neither. But I did. Anyway. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who is it? Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, she caught a golem from Lord of the Rings. I love that. <laughs> I used to, man, I used to have nightmares on that fucker from when I was a kid. <laughs> I better make sure everything is still in there. Weird science homework, warning cheese. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Party buster. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Uh-oh. I think he has some porn sites over in here. And he has a tile called Max. Okay. I wonder what's in there. It's like he probably slipped in a couple of, you know, obscene photos. I mean, hey, you never know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, you good, Dana? All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh wait, wrong way. Damn. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. <laughs> the more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. <laughs> that was cute. Oh. <laughs> Anyone else around here? Not. Fuck this shit! Ooh! Damn! I better rewind. Damn! That's 
gotta suck. Hold on. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Move it towards me. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Why'd you put it all in caps, though? And why can't you even... Wh wh we're your apostrophe. We're your apostrophe in the word we are. It's a, it's a contraction. Not we're. But we're not friends, that doesn't make any sense. But we are not friends makes more sense. We're your apostrophe. We're your apostrophe. Come on. <sighs> Max, that was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I was close. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Alright then. You, you sure you're with that? Thanks again. Let's talk later. Uh, hey yo asshole. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. Yeah, this is the guy that she's supposed to be seeing, but it's not his baby. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Then fuck you. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. <laughs> that's funny. Now that's what I call instant karma. And a great photo op, too. Love that. Let's get the fuck out of here. No, I guess not. Ah, whatever. I have to fly the fuck out of here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. What the fuck this motherfucker is? Hey, asshole. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Leave her alone, prick. Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. It sure I'm seems like it. Job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. I'll remember this conversation, too. What a prick. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. A fucking douchebag. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? And the fact that his name is David really pisses me off, too. Man, I thought that. I ain't changing anything now. It's like, why do all the fucking characters I play in these games have to be my name? Why are all the assholes named David? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. For real. Illuminati, there it is. Again. Shit. I don't Juliet. get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Oh, Juliet. Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Me either. Hi, Juliet. You okay? How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. I'm still screwed up. I'm sorry about Zachary. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He that usually does. Probably he said it because he got found he out, that's all. See you that's around, bullshit. Matt. Honey, you, you can do better than him. You're alright. You're okay. Do your thing. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. 
and burgers. Hold on, what does it say? Eat shit and eat shit and smoke and, and what? Smoke hippies? I have no idea what that says. Good thing I don't have a car yet. Cars equal death. Well. Who toilet papers a bike? Yeah, who TPs a bike? That's kind of weird. <laughs> the fuck? Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Yeah, what a prick. Is there else over here that I can interact with? There's more missing person boxes over here. What the hell? At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. I guess. It's a little too obsessive, though. Hey, look, an RV. Just like Walking Dead. <sighs> oh, what? That layer of dust is begging for my finger. Let's do it. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. There we go. Got the photo. But since, nah, probably the owner probably wouldn't like that too much. There you go. There you go. Wow. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. Yeah. Put in stuff in vehicles and then you start to upgrade. <laughs> Whatever. Yo, Max, check it out. What's good, man? Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Wow. Now you can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? Really. I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. <laughs> Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. Yeah. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Can you? You can draw? You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. <laughs> so you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, wow. which seems apropos today. Very I consider apropos. myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Ah, I've seen it, actually. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? <laughs> so you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Faster pussycat, kill, kill. <laughs> no, I was impressed you had faster pussycat, kill, kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? <laughs> if I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Yeah, I kind of need to talk, as a matter of fact. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Oh, I like meds, so. though. Come on. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, yeah. go on. 
I had this incredibly bizarre experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. The truth. I told him the truth, a student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries though, <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Yeah. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan. Back the fuck off. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. No! Fuck! Back Nobody off! Hey, get your do. fucking no, hands no, off no, you, bro! No, that whore in the bathroom. Get off me! Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Oh, bro, I got this! Oh, shit! Get your punk asses out of there now! Oof. Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! What the fuck? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. <laughs> Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> it makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Oh, hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, not really. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Or from Seattle to you. Oregon. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Oh, only from Jefferson. Only from Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I mean, I get it though. She hadn't called her and hit her up in a long time. Didn't even recognize it was her at first. Didn't even know it was you. But yeah, that's her friend that she used to be friends with, and she left to go to school at okay. Seattle. Man, are you serious? And now she's back. Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> are you serious? Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific, tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. I appreciate that. Uh, Chloe? Your house is semi purple and white. It's a little bizarre. Come on in, don't be shy. 
The house still looks nice. Home shit. It, it looks off to me. It looks the paint job's a little off. Spare the paint job. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my room. <laughs> Everybody lies. I'm gonna eat. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Mm. Put on some music while I medicate. Oh, I'm right there with you, girl. I'm kind of hungry, though, too. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Time to examine stuff. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Oh, her and her dad. That's a cute photo of them. It's cute. I always like that photo of them. It's cute. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Be grand about. Jesus. For auto repairs for a truck. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. I mean, nothing wrong, but there's something wrong with being pretentious. There's the power strip. It's, it's fine, you know. There we are. Drawing the hi fi. Oh. Why did I do that for? Why did I do that for? I fucking re rewound the, re rewounded the fucking shit. Whatever I'm doing. I don't know. Is this a desk or a storage space? I think this junk swallowed her desks. <laughs> That's crazy shit right there. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Huh. So her friend's missing. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. <laughs> Chloe's trash overfloweth. Who'd have oh. thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? Parking tickets, she yeah. She love trouble. It seems about right. She wants to take up two handicapped spots <laughs> illegally. She bound to she bound to get into trouble. <laughs> love that. Okay, Chloe. A metal box under the bed equals secret. For real. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. <laughs> Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Dad's no longer in the picture, obviously, because she says stepdad. So either the dad's divorced or Chloe's dad gone. Dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Yeah, remember you saw her in the uh, the photo of her, uh, the pirate photo. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. And unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to go ahead and end it right here. Guys, thank you for watching part two. Join me in part three, and we'll wrap up Chrysalis. Do not go away. Love you all. End of recording.